Welcome back. We have arrived somewhere. Maybe this is where Hans is? Maybe Oscar can tell us more. Where are we, Oscar? At the halls of residence of Barockstadt University. And do we really have to stop here? The situation is incompatible with the pursuit of our journey. What are you waiting for, then? Wind them up. Find a way. There must be some sort of train winding thing just laying around in this weirdo station. I have seen nothing that fits that description, Kate Walker. I guess we'd better find out, then. I do not like this station. The atmospheric humidity is detrimental to my sophisticated wheel workings. I will wait for you inside the train. <sighs> Wimp. He's as helpful as Cedric, isn't he? Well, we are losing conversation options by the droves here. Do any of them give a new uh, dialogue? I'm not sure. And to think that when I first became a lawyer, I was worried I'd get stuck behind a desk. Is something wrong, Kate Walker? Is the restaurant car service not to your liking? Would you like another pillow? Don't worry, Oscar. Everything's just hunky-dory. And you are just hunky-dory, too. Um, are you flirting with him? I guess there is a restaurant car. Don't know where or how you get to it, but sure. Maybe it's through this door. That's what we'll go with. I'm assuming it's self-service if Oscar is driving the train. Oscar, we have a serious problem. How can we carry on our journey if this train doesn't want to budge? What are our options? Every clock has its key, Kate Walker. Keep looking. Well, I hope you're right. I'm going to go see what I can find. Oscar, there's no way you could help me find a way to wind the train back up again? Rust awaits my every movement if I leave this train, Kate Walker. And what would you do with a rusty engine driver? Hmm. <sighs> Not a lot, I suppose. I suppose. Oscar, I think that Hans Vorlberg once stayed in this town after he left Valadie Len. Maybe this wasn't a chance stopover after all. Nothing is left a chance in a railroad network. You agree with me then? We have no concrete proof to support your hypothesis. The train stopped because the clockwork mechanism is unwound. That is the only concrete evidence we have, Kate Walker. I was just hoping for a little imagination on your part, Oscar. No, Kate Walker. I am only an automaton, Kate Walker. Yeah, I find it hard to believe. At this point, we don't really have any indication that Hans may have been here at some point. I mean, I guess it makes some kind of sense. He must have known that the train would only make it this far. This train might be a wonder of technology, but the engine's limited autonomy is a liability. you got to admit that. I am afraid I refuse to entertain this consideration, Kate Walker. Okay, I guess he thinks the train is perfect. Oscar, see you later, alligator. In a while, Kate Walker. Almost, Oscar. Almost. Okay, I guess we need to find a way to wind the train again. Shouldn't be too hard, hopefully. Unless... Hans has never been here, and there is no winding mechanism, and, and we're just stuck forever. Maybe we'll have to build one. Before I do so, I want to just point something out. I don't need that for the time being. I can't take the mammoth. That's all I want you to know. It'll be important later. All right, um, well, the train mechanism was on the left side of the train. This is a noisy station. Um, or the, which is the right side, one viewed from this angle. It's on the port side of the train, okay? I don't know if you use those terms for trains, but that's the side it's on. So let's go that way first. And, um... Uh, Doing so apparently added something to our conversation list. Bird. Which, as you may be aware of, is the word. 
Presumably these birds. Are they important in any way? Um, I don't know, but they are kind of aggressive, I guess. And they are blocking our way from this ladder, so if there's anything we need up there, then there's no way to find out right now. This is an interesting station, I have to say. It seems to be like a greenhouse or aviary, as well as a train station. I'm guessing, like, this stuff isn't native here. If this place is called Barokstadt, I am... Assuming it is, uh... Um, in Germany, presumably. Or in some German-speaking place. Could be Switzerland. I don't know how far we went. But definitely not tropical. Can't go further this way, so I'm guessing there is not a training, train winding thing there. Let's see what else is on this side, though. A way to cross to the other side. And a path going this way. Let's check that out. I guess the fact that this is like a greenhouse is why Oscar has trouble with the humidity. I can't go that way. Which at least is a better reason for him not to come with us than Cedric ever gave. Well that's blocked, so dead end here. Nothing we can do anything with. Well, I guess we'll might as well go across to the other side. Yeah, if there is a restaurant car, it kind of has to be in that one compartment we can't go into because this train seems to have only one car. And this, which on a normal train would be for coal. What is it for in this train? I am not sure. Maybe we can wind the train from both sides? I'm not actually sure. They are... There is a port here. I'm not sure if it's another winding port. Regardless, there does not appear to be winding equipment here, so... We may be out of luck. Maybe we can find somebody who can help us. Or maybe it's just further up or back down the track. Might not have stopped at the exact right spot. So that's worth investigating. Looks like there's a canal of some kind next to the station. Whoa. That is, uh... Interesting. Are those elephants or... They kind of look like mammoths. That definitely seems like it's not a coincidence. Maybe Hans was here. Um, well, Barockstadt itself has seen better days, I guess. That thing looks like the winding machine I used in the Valadilen station. I've got to find a way of getting the train up here. Okay. Um, she's actually talking about this right here. Which is kind of hard to tell. We can't actually get there because the, the uh, train tracks are in the way and Kate won't cross them. And we can't walk all this way forward on the other side. Presumably if the train is here we can just cross it through the train like we've done before. There's also, um, a giant wall. I don't remember there being a giant wall in any part of Eastern Europe where they might speak German. Admittedly, I'm not super familiar <laughs> with uh, 
that part of Europe. But still, I think I would have read it somewhere if there was like a Great Wall of China-like wall there somewhere. Guess this is a windmill. And there's a door in the wall where the train tracks go through. Something that suspiciously looks like a Vorlberg key. Other than that, this appears to be a dead end, so... I guess it's not important right now. No way to get across the tracks here either. Not that it would matter, even if we could get to the winding machine. We would still need to find a way to get the train there. Unless the winding machine is movable, but I doubt that. Kate Walker! Kate Walker! Come over here, please! I have something to say to you! Okay. And he needs to go back inside to tell us that, I guess. So we need to go inside and talk to him. Yes, Oscar? What is it? A message has arrived for you. A message? You have been summoned to see the Rectors. They are the highest authority at the University. They want to talk to you. Talk to me? Yes, to the person responsible for the train. So, I'm in charge now. Sure, okay. But why would these gentlemen want to see me at all? They do not say why, just that it's very important. Okay, so I guess we're at a university, and the rectors want to talk to us. Interesting. Everything okay, Oscar? Yes, Kate Walker. I am awaiting your instructions. Um... You should take a look around the station, Oscar. It's amazing. Greenhouses that are all lit up, exotic trees, and... Thousands of birds of all different colors. I am obliged to avoid exposing my wheel work to corrosive bird excreta. I shall remain inside to monitor the locomotive. Of course. Well, too bad for you. Okay. Oscar, see you later, alligator. In a while, Kate Walker. He just really does not want to go outside, not even to look at the birds. Um, wait, no. I don't need anything in the train. Alright, I guess we should go see the rectors of the university. Maybe they can help us move the train. Before I do so, let's look around here a little bit more. Definitely a very pretty station. I'll give them that much. That's the door that we couldn't go through. Um, ooh, a person. Maybe they can help. Hello. You arrived by train, I see. Yes, I've come from Valadilen. It's been a long time since I've seen a train here. Students, did you bring students with you? No, I traveled alone. Well, almost alone. I remember around the start of fall, trains would bring kids from all around the world here to study zoology and botany, paleontology, all that stuff. This was a great university. And it isn't still great today, then? Uh, today? Well, huh. I'm guessing no, then. 
I guess it's a good thing that this station isn't very busy because there appears to be only one track and we're blocking it, so. Have you been the station master of Baruchstadt for a long time? I've never had another job. Now, you tell me, are you in charge of this train? No, I mean, I'm not sure. So what's your thing here? You come here to do some bookworming over at the university? Well, sort of. I'm always looking for new information. Hmm. Well, you don't seem to know a lot. And about that train, it's gonna get in the way if you leave it there, that's for sure. In fact, I'm a lawyer and I'm conducting a pretty unusual investigation. Investigation, huh? Uh, hey, uh, you know, uh, I, I'm just a station master. I, I don't know too much about anything. Well, you never know. Anybody could be significant in this case. You see, uh, nobody actually tells me anything, so my hands are totally clean. I never implied they weren't. He seems nervous about something. Wonder what? You don't know where I might find equipment to wind up my train springs, do you? Not in this station, that's for sure. And I would know. You might want to try near the wall. So, uh, thinking of staying for long, miss? Uh, no. I mean, I don't know, actually. One or two days tops. You see, I've got to wind my train back up so that I can continue my journey. It's just, uh, if you stay here too long, I might get in trouble. The uh, train should stop, then leave again. That's the rule. Besides, your machine's disturbing the birds. Maybe you could take me up to this wall? If there were two of us, we could find what I need to wind up my train even quicker. Uh, miss, forgive me, I, I gotta stick by the rules. You know, I have to man the station. I don't want to get into trouble with my, my superiors at the university. Uh, you understand? We actually already found it, but whatever. Also, why is he not treating that question as the weird question that it really is, unless wind-up trains are common in this universe. I feel like I've lost my way a little here. I could really do with your help. Hey, anything I can do, miss, you just let me know. The name Hans Varlberg doesn't mean anything to you by chance, does it? Oh, do you really think I'd remember one little name from the thousands that passed through this station? Well, considering how well-known Vorlberg Manufacturing is, he should maybe at least re uh, uh, recognize that part. Although I guess it has not been so famous recently. I'm sorry to junk up your station like this, but the spring mechanism on my train needs winding. A spring-operated locomotive? <laughs> uh, there's a thing. Yeah, and an impractical thing, too. Yeah, I always dreamed of taking the train, but now... I'm over the hill. And someone has to take care of the birds, after all. All these birds in a station. It's amazing. This is no ordinary station, miss. Oh, no. These birds are part of the prestigious University of Baruchstadt Ornithological Collection. Over the years, this aviary has housed some of the most fantastic species from all over the world. And I am not exactly a typical station master, either. This little world is my responsibility, and that is no easy task. I can well believe you. And you know what's the hardest? The hardest thing is to keep interspecial harmony. And one day some explorer introduced a couple of cuckoos from the Amazon. Whoa. It wasn't a good idea? A nightmare. You know cuckoos lay their eggs in the nests of other species, right? Now what's more, they also push the host's eggs out of the nest so that they receive all the mother's attention, right? A cursed cuckoo's nightmare. I see what you mean. That's one tricky bird. And there was nothing you could do to stop it? The faculty declared the bird a protected species. If it wasn't for our mechanical eagle, we were sitting on a major ornithological catastrophe. You have an automaton here? A wonder of technology. It's an eagle that's mounted on rails in the air. It passes through and it swoops down to collect parasite eggs. But heck, the dang eagle's been out of order for several years. Impossible to collect the eggs myself. Why not? I, uh, I can't climb up the gangway. I fell off it several months back and I still have a pain in my spine. Not to mention the vertigo I've been getting. I only, only have to look up in the air. Whoa. You poor soul. That must be very hard. Worst thing is, cuckoo eggs piling up in the nests. 
soon the rectors are gonna notice. There's trouble in store, big trouble. Well, I'm worried, yep, worried. Okay, I guess the mechanical eagle is where that ladder goes. I wonder if the birds in front of that were the cuckoos. Knowing our luck, we'll probably have to help him fix it or something. I won't disturb you any longer, Mr. Station Master. Welcome to Barrowstown, miss. Um, there's also something on the ground here. It's a hook. Presumably good for something. That seems to be all here. Can we go any further? No. I guess this is the end. Notice how, while the voice actor pronounced it Amazon, the subtitles actually said Amazon for where the cuckoos were from. Which, um, as I already mentioned, is the name of uh, Sokal's first game. So that's obviously a reference to it. Um, this is the exit of the station. I kind of still want to explore it before heading to the university. Let's see what's on this side. Oh, this also takes us outside. Fair enough. Ooh. A barge, I guess, in the canal. With some people on it. Maybe they can help. The canal runs all the way along the station, so maybe they can, like, drag the train or something. Hey there! On the boat! Got the tag, share the mademoiselle! My husband say, hello, young lady, you want to talk to us? Um, he said, he spoke like two different languages and uh, they were both misspelled, so that was interesting. My name is Kate Walker and I'm a lawyer. I'm in charge of this train. This situation is really very new to me. Lawyer, good job, earn a lot of money. A lot? Uh, a lot, no, I wouldn't go that far. But I, I can't really complain, I guess. There's worse. Lawyer always ask a lot of money. Can we change the subject, please? I really don't want to go down this road. Okay. Are you from Barkstadt? Yet. So you're like me. Birds just passing through. I'm stuck here because of my train. Kleine Puskerreis and Mitons, no? What did he say? Train kaput. No luck for you. That is not what he said. I think he was actually asking us to travel with them. Assuming that this woman is his wife, um, she probably isn't too happy about that. I have a little problem with my train. It's kind of broken. I've absolutely got to get it out of the station. Do you think you could tow it over to the wall with your barge? Lock closed. Barge Block. But if the locks were open, would it be okay to tow my train then? Torque no. More money for that sferk. Da, it's possible. My husband say we help you if you give money. Right. And how much do you want? Chiquante. He want one hundred and fifty dollar. A hundred and fifty dollars? I don't have that much. No money, no bar. Let me offer you seventy-five. No, one twenty-five dollar. Out of the question. One hundred dollars and not a dime more. Correct. You have barge for one hundred dollar. Great. Now, don't move. I'll be back as quick as possible with the money. Okay. They want money. Also, did he throw in some Dutch words there? I think he did. Um...
we don't have any money, apparently. It's kind of weird, honestly. I guess we'll need to find a way to get money. Maybe the Rector's gonna help us with that. In any case, we can ask about it now. You must really get to see the countryside. Do you know New York at all? We not understand. I'm looking for a funny little man who is supposed to live in Siberia. Can you imagine that? <laughs> Siberia. I expect you've already been there. Shivraga come to Siberia? Siberia? No. Too cold. Barge no break ice. That makes sense, I guess. I hope my train isn't too big for your barge. Tis okay, Maltermot, it's the class. My husband say correct. Powerful motor. I mean, we're not exactly very far from the winding machine, are we? It's dumb, isn't it? All this effort to go a few yards. Put train in barge? Nay, <laughs> not possible. That is not what we're trying to do. You just need to tow us. Have you gone down to take a look around the station yet? It's amazing. You know, it's full of exotic birds. Me to my gear? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my pleasure. We no leave boat. Husband is land sick. Um, in fact, I think he said he would love to go watch the birds if we came with him. With, if the pretty girl came with him. It's not very polite of you to take advantage of my predicament. We could have done favors for each other, for free, out of solidarity. Father, father, I lost speak not full. Maria, speak full. Excuse me? My husband say need money for leave. One hundred dollar not lot for fancy lady like you. How would you know a fancy lady like me, really? All right, I guess they're not budging. I'll leave you to it. I won't disturb you again. Dos vidanya. Can you just decide on a language <laughs> and stick with it? Uh, nothing else this way. Um, I can go back in the station or go this way, I guess. We can go further towards the other side of the station, but I kind of want to go and see directors. Let's head this way first. Which is in the direction of the university, I presume? Yeah, I think I got that right. That is impressive looking. I'm guessing they're going to be inside somewhere. I guess they have all these statues because it's paleontology. I really like the design of this place. Oh wait, we can talk to this guy? Hello. Hey baby, you party? You sure looking mighty fine. Love those big round eyes. Just who do you think you are? Hey, Spunky. I like that in a lady. Okay, I'm hooked. Come on, Zal. I'll let you buy me that coffee. I don't remember ever asking. Hey, don't play hard to get. I know you like it big time. Listen, kid. Go back home and play with your toy cars and forget you ever saw me. Okay, um, I guess he's a student and we're not really getting anything useful out of him. So let's head inside. Okay. Very impressive. Universität Barockstadt. It looks huge. Hopefully we can find directors. But we'll have to look for them in the next video.